Um, I thought I'd just get this over and done with. Um, do a couple in a day, why not? Um, wearing the same outfit as before. I think it's like the fashion in the kitchen. It's good lighting here. Shame I didn't get the full lighting story. Um, so um, I recently went for a trip to Sydney and did drag crawl cool one night down there just going out and stuff. Um, just not performing or anything, just going out, being fabulous. Um, and I packed everything that I need to do drag in one bag. Um, so I thought I would show you what I use um, when I do drag because it's all in one bag right now so I can just pull things out of the bag. Surprise! Um, and I show you the tricks of the trade when doing drag makeup or my tricks of the trade. So this handy little, I never use them when I'm at home, I have a little stand. Um, but going away they're really handy, they just get stuffed in a drawer all the other time. This is filthy because I did drag and it hasn't been cleaned yet, I haven't even unpacked my bag from Sydney yet. So, um, this is just a little packet that I got, it's a Bobbi Brown, um, I got a set of brushes in it, um, and it is all of my brushes. So, I like this brush for doing uh, my blending, spirally, 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 once I've got my contour powders and everything like that, and after I've baked. Um, this one is just for applying brush, applying brush, that makes no sense. So this is for applying my powders, um, I use brushes, I don't use those at all poundy things, the little makeup sponges, no not sponges, little brushy things, no they're not brushes, I don't know what they're called, they're like round things, powder puffs. Um, I use a brush for my, um, oh this is going horrible, um, I use a, a brush for my um, foundation. Um, just to get into those little crevices. So I'll put my pancake makeup on and then smush it all into the areas. Uh, next one along the line is a blush brush. Um, this is a MAC 168. It is my most favourite brush of all time because it's kind of angly. Um, there's still a little bit of blush on it. Um, haven't cleaned my brushes since I got back from um, this is my favourite brush because you can get in there and then, you know, get that blush on that cheek. Uh, next on the line we have my all-time favourite thing of all time, liquid eyeliner. I probably shouldn't use as much as I do, but I go through these like, like eggs after a hangover, on a hangover, you know what I mean? Um, this one is my contour, um, uh, my contour foundation brush, um, just for doing my nose contours and things like that where I need a thinner line. Uh, next one on the list is just another little angled brush. Um, this is a Beauty Factories, it came free with some makeup that I bought. Um, it's just really good for getting underneath the eyes and helping with the blending. I didn't have much room, so I had to pack brushes and I had to pack um, lip liners and things like that into here, so um, I'll just go through the brushes. So this is just a little brush. This is a Bobbi Brown 12. Um, just use that for like little touch-ups of eye makeup and stuff like that and blending underneath the eye um, once I've put pencils down. Um, this is the brush that I've obviously used for black makeup. And um, that was for the eyes. You know, so putting the um, fake socket in. Um, this one is a MAC 194. Um, I use this one um, for putting the coloured powder onto my eyebrows. Um, I'll show you the coloured powder later. 
um, and this one is just a little brush that I used for purple eye makeup. It's also at Beauty Factories. And we have some lip liner pencils. Um, these ones are MAC. This is a, I think I've shaven off the colour because it's getting low. This one's a brown for eyebrows and lips. Um, this is a red, dark red. Um, that's for lips. Another brown, just in case. Um, your old eyebrow comb. Good for doing when you're gluing down your eyebrows. And the good thing about this one, this is a Ben Nye one. I love this one. I've got other ones that have just fallen apart. This one's really sturdy. And it's got like an angled kind of end, if you can see that. Kind of angled. Yeah. It's good if you really need to get in there and really pack in the glue into your eyebrow and make sure it's nice and flat. And I also have this one, which I've been using for my um, Krylon Aqua Cream that I Aqua Cream Aqua something I'll show you um, that I got lately, and I've just been using it for eyeshadow. Um, I'll show you that next, actually. It's something that I only just recently got. It is a makeup palette. Aquacolor Metallic. Um, it's like a little paint box. Um, I had it for a while, and I didn't really use it all that much. Um... And I've only just started using it, and it's quite good. Um, it has purple, green, blue, bronze, silver, and gold. Um, I didn't know the instructions. I just bought it because it was it was silver and all of that, like shimmery. Everybody loves a little bit of shimmer. Um, and I didn't really know how to use it, and then I looked up online, and I still really didn't know how to use it. Um, it's um, water-based. I use a bit. Don't know if you're supposed to. Um, but it's really good for like giving, like I put the silver right in the middle of my eye to make it look bigger out there and depending on what colour eye makeup I'm using, I usually put it down as a little bit of a base um, to put eye makeup on top of because it's a little bit shimmery and it helps to get the other makeup onto your eye and it gives it a really strong colour. And then I usually put a little bit over the top just to make sure that it's nice and shimmery. But I love it. I got it on eBay. It's on cheap. Uh, next up. Two fabulous things. Contour palette. La la la. Um, it's a contour palette. So use it to contour your face. Don't really need to explain. And I've had this for ages. I should probably get a new one. Um, it's all muggly because it's been in a bag on the way home. Sorry about it. But it's just an eyeshadow palette. And it's got two. I don't really use that base much. I use the purples and pinks and browns and blacks and whites more often. And it's got a really nice blue in it that I use as well. Um, so just an eyeshadow palette. Um, <coughs> um, we've got... My favourite thing of all time, this is Manky, and it is old, and all of the label has worn off and everything, but it is a Krylon paint stick, and it is in um, 3W, which I don't know what that means, but it matches my skin. Um, and then we've got my favourite thing of all time, Mac blush. I have never used a blush that is as good as MAC. Like, I've tried a lot of, um, like, I like MAC products, but I especially love MAC, um, what do you call it? MAC, um, blush. This is in Breezy, and it is the best. It is fabulous. I love it. It's nice and nice. It's a little bit purple and it's a little bit 
and shiny. Happy life. I love it. My favourite thing of all time, the old matte blush. Um, I've got my Maybelline mascara. I'm not a label caller, so <clears throat> I will use any mascara whatsoever. And a lot of it. Sorry about it. No, sorry. Um, I have my um, Super Hair Bond Glue. Um, this is the best stuff for gluing your eyebrows on, I feel, in my opinion, because it's nice and stretchy. Um, it's the stuff that they use for gluing weaves down, something, I think. Um, but it is awesome. It's dark as well. I hate those little tiny schmear things that you get with your eyelashes really piss me off. They never glue down properly. Um, this is anti-fungus as well, which is awesome. Um, and it dries really quickly and it doesn't stick to your fingers. You just pretty much rub your fingers like that and it flakes off, but it stays on your eyelashes. Don't tell me how. Don't tell me, oh, don't ask me why. I really don't know, really don't care. It just works really well. I got this at the weave shop. I think it was only like $3 and I've had it forever. It just keeps on going. And I would highly recommend that anyone that gets this, um, probably don't get it in your eye. Rubber, oh, it um, contains natural rubber latex. Um, don't. If you're allergic to late latex, don't use it, obviously. Um, and probably shouldn't use it, but it works really well. Just don't get it in your eye. Um, and we've got a Ben Nye Hazelnut Cream Foundation. That's my contour foundation. Um, it's a brown. It's quite a dark brown. I've had it forever. It just keeps on going. Keeps on lasting. Love it. Um, and we have oh, a little compact camera just in case I turn out of my hand eyes. Um, whenever you go away, pack a pencil sharpener because you don't want to get to some random hotel and realise that all of your um, lip liners and all of your eyebrow pencils or whatever are blunt and you don't have a pencil sharpener and you're halfway through drag and you can't go out to the market to get one because you're in half drag unless you're keen on that me not so much i like to be prepared so take a pencil sharpener um krylon professional uh transparent powder um i use this Um, I use this and a mix of another powder that I have, um, just cause, just cause, I like it, it just works for me, I have like a cheaper powder, um, and then I have that powder, um, and I just mix them together in the lid and then just use a little, a lot of it, um, I use a lot of powder. I over powder probably, but anyway. Um, also a glue stick. Um, people that say you need to use Elmer's or something. Oh, we don't have Elmer's here. And we have Goo. And this one is actually from Amsterdam. I just got it in a news agency. Works fine. Um, probably not so much using super cheap ones. Super cheap ones don't seem to stick down, but you know, mid-price brands, pretty much anything. Um, uh, that's what I use to glue my eyebrows down. And mine are quite bushy and dark. As you can see, they're quite bushy. And it works fine. Um, my drag daughter was like, oh, I need to get some glue. I need to get Elmer's. And I was like, well, you don't really. You just get a glue stick. Just don't buy it from the $2 shop. Buy it from, you know, a reputable retailer. Like a news agent. Um, but yeah, just don't get the cheap one. 
And lastly, but not leastly, is my Ben Nye translucent face powder. Um, this is supposedly translucent, but it is in the colour Topaz. Um, and it is, as you can see, quite orange. Um, I use it to, um, when I put my glue down on my eyebrows, I'll put it in the middle layer. Um, just to hide the colour of my eyebrows, um, just as an extra safeguard because you want a nice whiteness, um, lightness. I don't have any clown white at the moment. I am staying away from the clown white just for a little bit. Um, I used to use clown, clown white a lot, um, and I'm just kind of staying away from it at the moment just as a kind of addicted um so I am staying away from that at the moment but I'm totally gonna buy some soon <laughs> I lost mine in Amsterdam and I haven't got it just like I haven't got any at the moment um and I have been trying to stay away from it because I was going a bit OTT with it um over the top that is um yeah so um hopefully when I get it again I won't go crazy on it um because it's not like I'm like eating it or anything but I was putting it everywhere like you know, it was just too much um so that was it that's all the stuff that I need to do my drag um that's pretty much it apart from wigs and hairsprays and bras and boobs and all that jazz so um yeah so that's all the stuff that I use for drag. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if there's any product that you would like more information on, either Google it or you can ask me in the comments. I don't mind. Um, and I'll Google it. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. Um, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, hopefully I should be having some more updates and more videos soon. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if there's anything I can improve as well, leave it in the comments. Um, let me know. I mean, I'm pretty good at criticism. Pretty good. Um, so just let me know if there's anything that you want to see. Um, anything that I can do better. Anything that I can do different. Um, anything that I can do worse. Just let me know. Alright, I'll see you peeps later. Bye.